This video demonstrates the use of identifiers, including some examples of some, um, using some reserved words as an identifier, an invalid character, and starting your variable name with a number. So let's write a program. This program is going to output your friend network to the third degree. So there's this theory of um, six degrees of separation between any two people on the planet. So we'll go ahead and start with this program by um, getting how many people a person knows. So we'll say, you know, your friend, um, we'll ask the person, uh, how many friends do you have? And we'll get how many friends they have. Let's save, compile, and ooh, we have an error on line 9 says friend can only be specified inside a class. We have nothing to do with classes. Um, so our problem, we also have another error on line 11 where it expected a colon before C and R. Right, well let's first, with, let's worry about the first error first which is friend can only be specified inside a class. We're not doing anything with classes so why is friend causing a problem. It's because friend is actually a reserved word. So we can we can fix that. Here we go. We'll say friend. This way um, we are uniquely changing uh, the reserved word. It's no longer going to be a reserved word. So let's compile again. And we get another error. Line 9 again. Same line here. And it's saying we expected um, it expected an unqualified ID before exclamation token. Okay, that is meaning this is not a valid ID. Okay, well let's say we're expecting roughly um, to, to know about a hundred people. I guess they may not be like close friends, but you know about a hundred people, uh, believe it or not. So let's save, compile once again. We get a completely different error. Two of them on line nine now. This is saying there's an invalid suffix friend. Ah, it's because we're not supposed to we're not allowed to start identifiers with a number. So that's why it's this, um, an invalid suffix. Okay, fine. Let's just say friends with an S. We'll change this to friends with an S. Save. And let's compile. Okay, now we just have an error on line 11 where it's saying it expected a semicolon before C in. And in fact, I had forgotten to add a semicolon at the end of that line. Let's save. Compile, no errors. How many friends do you have? I'll say 50. Okay, let's see whether that's correctly being input. So let's output friends. Compile, execute, I'll say 50, and it's correctly getting 50. Um, it's about 100 uh, people that your friends know. So you know about a hundred people, and they know about a hundred people. So we'll say that um, your friends know, and then we'll have the however many they know. And we'll say people. Save, compile, execute. I'll say fifty again. So your friends know five thousand people your friends know 5,000 people. I'm going to also add a new line so that we do not have the next this, uh, this appearing. Instead we can have just a clean ending. So I'm going to save and I'll show you what that looks like. Compile, execute, say 50 again. There we go. It's your friends know 5,000 people. I'm going to copy paste since we know that that code works, and I'm going to modify to say your friends, friends, know 100 times 100 times friends. Okay, let's take a look at this. Compile, execute, I'll say 50 again. So my friends know about 5,000 people, that's a pretty good sized network, and my friends' friends, who are my third degree, know 500,000 people. There we go. Thank you.